you can change the color. Oh, that's the nice. Lights. That's cool. What up, what up? Supercar Blondie here. Now, this may look like any other McLaren, but it's not. I'm picking up Sergi to show you guys exactly what this car can do. It's my mate. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Okay. Now, usually if anyone came out with this much luggage and you had to pick them up in a McLaren, this is where you say to them, good luck, I'm leaving you on your own, get a taxi. But this is the McLaren GT, the most luxurious McLaren on the market. And one good thing is that you can fit, fit all of this. Yeah, should we give it a go? Hours. All right, so you've got two golf bags, guys. Two, two golf bags that you can actually fit in this McLaren. Thing. I'm kind of skeptical, but uh... Right, look, here's the boot. You just open it with this on the key. Here we go, and look, oh, automatically wow. opens. I like that a lot. Yeah. And you've got this whole space here. And look how flat this is. You would never think that this would fit golf clubs, but... I don't see. know about this. Are you guys going golfing or what? Um... Uh, yeah, well. Golf trip? Are we going golfing? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, let's go golfing. This is actually a McLaren golf bag, and you can tuck this in nicely with these straps so it doesn't move around, which is really nice. So this fits definitely, but who goes golfing with just themselves? Oh, you no need one. a friend. You always go with mates, right? So, um, so let's see if these babies fit. This is not a McLaren yeah. golf bag, as you can bigger. see. It's this much is bigger. much bigger. So. Also down this way. Yeah, all the way down. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That <laughs> actually might fit. Oh my god. Wow. Wait. Oh, nice. Oh, what? Wow, that's crazy. Hang on. Is it going to close though? Wait, let's see. You got a little button here, guys, which I really like. That closes automatically. And will it? Will it? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's crazy. That is really good. <laughs> so we've still got two more yeah. bags to fit in. Yeah. This is full. Yep. Is that They're, the golf balls or what? This is uh. Yeah. These are shoes. These are my gloves and my uh, accessories. <laughs> this is just all uh, Sergi shoes. Yeah. Um, okay, so there is actually a second luggage compartment around the front. Okay. And this is really the only luggage compartment you usually get with a McLaren. Look at that. Nice. So here's your, this is like a standard size carry-on. Oh, so, deep. see, I would have liked it if you could fit two of these carry-ons like this, but you can't. Oh. Look, I'm complaining about small things, but I think you can't fit in two carry-on bags unless you put in one here and one in the back, okay. which is okay, I suppose. Look, I'm complaining because, <laughs> guys, yeah. this is meant to be a grand tour. It is the McLaren GT. Now, when you think of other GTs, it's all about comfort and luxury and to be able to go away for weekend trips to the country. This one is actually called Amaranth Red, this color. And this is an optional extra. It's a special color. It'll cost you about five and a half thousand dollars more. And then you've got a sports exhaust on this one. Yeah. That's also about five and a half thousand dollars more. What we're dealing with is an engine right here and it's actually a four liter twin turbo V8 and it pumps out 612 horsepower. That's quite a lot. Like. I'm just thinking Hurricane levels. My old Hurricane, 2015 Hurricane, had around the same horsepower, 610. Zero to 100, 3.2 seconds, same as okay. my old Hurricane. If the engine is here, yeah. and it's as powerful as it is, yeah. how does it not burn through yeah. the luggage? Yeah, so okay, so look, they've got a lot of these cooling elements here, so that's gonna feed a lot of air straight into the engine, right, and that's kind of a normal feature to have on most supercars, right, is these kind of air vents that go right. straight into the engine, but also... It'll still be piping hot though. Yeah, if you open this up again, this material right here is a special textile you guys, and this is actually a heat repellent. And the other thing is, is that you've got bigger rims. So this is yeah. 21 inch here in the back, and this is 20 inch. 
and these are bigger than like my 720s for example now the interesting thing around the front here guys is look how high this already is and that's just the standard that's more than a hand and the reason why they've made it higher up is because of the comfort level again you don't have to worry as much about going over speed bumps oh so it stays this it high. stays it's, like, it's not like it's raised well you can raise it even more click that here and the door pops open and what i've noticed immediately as this door is super light yeah right it's very light yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is a gt let me show you the features that i think makes this kind of veer toward that GT territory. Right, first, it's got more comfortable seats. So you've got this luxurious kind of leather here. You've got lu yeah. luxurious leather everywhere, yeah. all right? It's, it's all comfy, over yeah. the car. Yeah. And they've also put in heated seats. Right. And you don't get that on a 720S. Second thing, you've got more storage in here. You've actually got a glove box. Oh. And then if you look there, Sergi, open up that little compartment right there. Compartment? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look, see? Yeah. You can actually pop in your water bottle, see if that'll fit. There's no way this will fit, I think. <laughs> Show it in there. It's in. It's in. The third thing is the ambient lighting. Into ambience, you can change the color oh, of that's the ambient nice. lights. That's cool. So we go red, we go white. I'm going to steal this because the fourth thing is more sturdy cup holders. You see that? This is really sturdy. In the 720S, you kind of just get these little ones here. But this is going to hold something and keep it there for a long drive. Nice. This concerns me, guys. What's happening here in the back? You've got two heavy golf club kits. Yeah. And if you slam on the brakes, or if you drive this in any way you should, because it's still a supercar, you yeah. slam on the brakes, that thing's going to come flying forward. Yeah, that's dangerous. <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely concerned about that, and I'm very surprised that they have not come up with some kind of solution where there would be netting here. So you could actually pull across a net and keep that area away from, you know, your face. <laughs> yeah. The other thing is, if you have exposed golf clubs, not everyone has the, the case over the top yeah. of their golf clubs. Yeah, yeah. If you have them exposed, it doesn't matter if they're strapped in or not, a golf club can come like yeah. flying out of the case and oh straight into the front windscreen. <laughs> All right, let's hear what it sounds like. to mention these doors again super light i've mentioned what i think makes it kind of a gt these are the things that i think make it a supercar it has the butterfly doors in which gt do you get doors that go up you just don't the second thing is you actually have a launch control in what gt do you have a launch button right and thirdly it is a mid-engined sports car, so your engine is in the back, unlike other GTs. You're sitting in here now, Nick. What do you think of the seat? Is it comfier than usual? Uh, yeah, I think it's wider. It's wider, yeah, right? Yeah, it yeah, just it hocks you a bit less. Yeah. Now, what I like also about this car is it has the sun visor, and then it also has Voila, a mirror. <laughs> this is what I complain about so often that supercars don't have mirrors. I mean, it's fast. It's exactly how I would expect it to feel. I'm just going to lower the wheel here. And what I like also, it's electronic. You just pull that down. In my 720S, it's manual. You have to like really pull a lever and adjust it around and then pull it back up. That makes it just that little bit more GT-like, is having all of those little electronic uh, bits and pieces around the car. All right, first speed bump, let's see. Oh yeah, way less. <laughs> you don't have to slow down to one kilometer an hour, you can kind of tackle it at five kilometers an hour. You can feel that it's a rear wheel drive, but I'm really enjoying this ride. Normally you really have to like be in the mood to drive a McLaren because you're going to feel every lump and bump, but in this one you don't. It actually is really comfy. Is it a yes? 
yes or a no? For me, it's a yes, honestly. Um, I wouldn't call it a like a GT GT, but for a McLaren standard GT, yeah, sure, why not? So a massive thank you to McLaren for giving me the opportunity to test drive this baby. I actually really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the vid, learned something about the McLaren GT. Give us a quick thumbs up, subscribe to the Supercar Blondie family. Love you guys, I think I'm out. Bye.